It's said that singing loudly at the foot of a snowy mountain can trigger an avalanche. To put this myth to the test, Adam first built a 70-degree cardboard slope. Then he attached an electric motor to a mesh screen and sprinkled flour evenly on top of it. As the motor vibrated, the flour gently fell through the mesh, creating a snow-like effect on the slope below. Over time, a thick layer of flour accumulated on the cardboard. At exactly 2 minutes and 30 seconds, the flour began to collapse on its own, marking the critical point for a natural avalanche. So, they reset the experiment, letting the flour fall again and stopping at 2 minutes and 28 seconds when the slope was right on the edge of collapse. Adam then started singing directly at the flower. Even with a noise level of 150 decibels, the flower didn't budge. Then he sang again, this time aiming at the base of the slope, and that actually caused the flower to slide down. With the small-scale test a success, the myth gained some credibility. So they headed to the snowy mountains of Colorado, picking a slope known for frequent avalanches. They even invited a professional opera singer to belt out powerful notes toward the mountain. The beautiful voice echoed across the peaks, but the mountain remained completely still. Next, the singer used a loudspeaker to amplify the sound, but still, no avalanche. All they managed to do was wake up a pack of wolves. At this point, it seemed the singing causes avalanches myth was busted. But Jamie wasn't ready to give up. He placed a crash test dummy on the slope to see how dangerous an avalanche could be to a person. Then they set up 100 pounds of explosives at different points on the mountain and detonated them simultaneously. That finally triggered a small avalanche, sweeping the dummy down the slope. Sensor data showed the dummy suffered only minor fractures, with no critical damage. So it's safe to say, singing at the mountain won't bring it down. You can sing your heart out.